get ready for Mikey Sun TV. Four, three, two, one, zero. Hey, what's going on, guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Well, I just thought I'd give you a little update on my gym and what I got going on here. I've got a couple new things as of the past week or so, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy so far. Things are moving along pretty well. So let's, let's do a recap here. I got my Titan Fitness high and low lat machine. I got two 45s there, two 45s, 35s. And I got 35s on this bar. So I got a Olympic curl bar going on. Got my bench. Pretty good bench, not bad. Here's where things get interesting. Now, if you recall, whenever I was first getting going here with my gym, I thought, well, I'm just gonna do adjustable dumbbells. I'll get the extra long, you know, some extra long handles, and that way I can pile on enough 10 pound plates to go all the way up to 100 and get some five pounds, and that way I'll be able to do, you know, 20s, 40s, 60s, 80, you know, whatever, all the way all, all the way up to hundreds well that wasn't ideal and that's not my favorite type of dumbbell to have to constantly adjust and unscrew and put plates on and take plates off and it takes a while to do what i wanted was the hex hex type dumbbells so that's what i was used to mostly before but i have used uh regular plate dumbbells but i like the hexes so anyway I've got, I know I'm a little crazy here, I got some 80s, and yes, I can press them just fine. Uh, I've got 50s, i got 40s, I just bought these 30s, and I just bought these 20s this morning. And like I said, I do have all those 10 pound plates. So I got these set up right now for 60s. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Of course the, the bars themselves weigh about three pounds. So got those, have extra plate, I have more plates here of the tens. And then I have some fives right here, got four fives. And I got these little, and I got these set up as well. So, like I said, you know, initially I was just going to do adjustable and, you know, go through all that. But, yeah, uh, having, having dumbbells ready to go is just so much easier. And, uh, like I said, last night, uh, after I went out to eat Mexicanio, uh, we went to Walmart and uh, went down to Sporting Aisle. I was like, dang, they got dumbbells and all kind of stuff. So... Uh, they had amazing prices on their dumbbells. So I picked up, like I said, I picked up those 30s last night. And then this morning, I went out and I said, you know what? I'm going to go get some 20s. And sure enough, you know, I went, sorry, I'm shaking. And uh, sure enough, I went back in and they still had some 20s. So I got a set of 20s. this morning along with some mcdonald's breakfast and uh so my plans are to get uh 50s uh, to get 60s 70s i've already got 80s get 90s and then i'm gonna set these up um with all the 10 pound plates uh, with all the 10 pound plates, I can set those up 
to be my 100 pound dumbbells. So I'm, all, I'm almost there. Now you can go in five pound increments, but that costs a whole lot of money and that I don't have. But uh, uh, yeah, I'm getting really close to really getting everything kind of like I want. And uh, normally I wouldn't buy those rubber coated uh, steel dumbbells, but especially the ones that I found at Walmart, amazing prices. So, and the only reason I got the one pair, uh, those 50s, was because they didn't have the normal steel, you know, hexes. Uh, all they had was the rubber ones, but I like them. And, uh, of course, they're not just rubber. They're steel. They're coated in the rubber to, you know, for protection and quiet and all that good stuff. So, right now, really, I'm on the lookout for 60s, 70s, and 90s. It'd be cool to get the same rubber ones, but I don't care if they're just the regular uh, raw steel. And as far as Olympic weights go, I really want to get some uh, 25s. I'd like to get like four 25 uh, Olympic plates um, so I can do a little bit more. And I need to get some new collars. Uh, little collars that Hold your plates on. Those little collars, those are not doing any good at all. They just slide and move around. And uh, $8 for those two little cruddy collars. So I'm looking at getting some kind that kind of uh, have a quick release where you pop a thing and it opens up and then you squeeze it and it kind of squeezes around the bar compression. I'm looking at getting some of those. So, yeah, moving along here with the home gym, uh, I would say that as far as getting something really uh, eccentric goes again, like a cage, I'm, I, I want to get a cage, but mostly just to do legs. But the thing with that is, most of the legs that I do with that are squats and I don't like doing squats I have bad form I have a bad back I'm gonna have to get the special bar that has the easy you know the grips that come up in the front of you so I don't have to try and reach back and grab the bar to squat because of my shoulder and uh so I don't know if I want to go and get a cage or if I want to finally make the investment to get a leg press slash hack squat machine I've always wanted one of those, and even in the 90s, I was looking at building one. Uh, so, I think eventually I might go that route. Uh, the only con to that is getting enough weight for them. Now, I don't need thousands of pounds, but you need a pretty good bit of weight for, you know, leg presses and that. Uh, hex squats, not so much. Hex squats are really hard. It's basically standing up on the plate and going down with the weight you know at an angle instead of being in a leg in the leg press position where you're sitting against a pad and pressing up so hack squats you don't need as much weight they kill you so i may go that route eventually and get a and get a, a press a leg press and uh that would probably be the end of you know buying gym equipment i'm doing pretty good i feel really really blessed right now i feel happy and fairly content uh, with what i got and uh, i'm getting a good workout in even without barbells and that so uh you know anyway that's just kind of an update a long-winded update so i'm pretty happy if you're around walmart and you happen to go in there and see some dumbbells you better grab them because they're a good price super good price uh yeah, anyway, so I just wanted to give you a little update on things. And there you go, guys. Don't forget, get up, get out, get ready, do it to it. And do it to it big time, right? Get big and strong. All right. 
Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to Mike's and TV. Also check out my other channel where I live stream video games, Old Mental Pickle. All right, guys. We'll see y'all later. I'm about to head out for a bike ride. Mwah. Look at all that. Look at that. Get up, get out, get ready, do it, do it!